Greetings, Soul Swint here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator. Another 5 star dish for today. The 5 star achievement that we want to get is to upgrade the red pepper and tomato soup to level 3. We'll use chili pepper. We'll use... Oh, no more. <laughs> well, anyways, we've got bread in here. Ooh. Now let's see, we transfer all these things onto the plate, drizzle with these things, bake, add, boil, blend, cut. Okay, the cutting comes here, here, ha ha ha, cutting and cutting and cutting. Hmm, two types of cutting. Let's see, this is a 15 gram quarters. I don't know if the cutter can help us, but we probably have to slice the bread in half before we can put it into the cutter. But let's see. Let's take a look. We just need to ensure the total is about 60 grams, right? Uh, yeah. Pretty simple, I would say, is a soup dish. And I'll meet you back here for the prep phase. Now, there are a few things we can do, including something that we need to drizzle and whatnot. But that one, I think probably later. Let's prepare the broth and whatnot first. So we need 700 ml of chicken broth. We got quite a bit of things over here. So let's have 200 from here. Okay, let's go 200 please. Yeah, 200. Maybe 201, it's fine. This is 500. Put everything in here. Seven oh one, no problem. Get rid of that. And now we need to. Uh, have salt, twelve grams. <coughs> Fix the bowl by putting back here. Um, black pepper, twelve grams. Next, we need cayenne powder, 6 grams. And then we need tomato, 840 grams. That is about 7 of these. 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. After these, we need to add red bell pepper, chili pepper onion and garlic but those things need to be drizzled and baked drizzled with olive oil and baked so for that we're not going to do it we'll do it later when it's ordered because we don't have to cut those instead we need to cut mozzarella into 16 gram pieces 80 gram mozzarellas into 16 gram pieces well 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 So, 16 times 5 is 80, so we need to cut each into 5 pieces, which means we need to cut 4 cuts on each. So, it's uh, 4 cuts. How do we do that? There's no middling cut here. So we just have to cut it down the middle and make a mistake. Of course, it's not supposed to be in the middle. Sure. Don't bother about checking now because it won't help me. Or it won't help. Don't don't bother checking now, it won't help. Just focus on cutting. One, two, three, four. I think I might have made a mistake, but it's fine. We'll see what happens. Okay, continue. Not the middle, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ooh. 
one, two, three, four. Sixteen grams, right? One, two, three, four. Now let's start counting. How many do we have? Sixteen grams, we've got one. Good. We need a total of five pieces. I wonder how well we've done here. Seventeen, maybe. Put that aside. Ten is definitely not good. Uh, 16, ooh, good. We need four more, three more actually. And there's a 22. This 22 can be sliced a little bit for the hopes of a 16. 15, good. Wait, what? Oh, there are two 15s, wait, what? Ooh. Sure. <laughs> no, not here. What? Two twenty ones, really? Slice it by a little bit, let's see. Okay. Fine. How about this? Uh, cut it like that so that we can remove that part. No, hang on. Last try. Not gonna waste too much time, okay? Too bad. So, um, 18, 17s and whatnot, we need approximately 16 grams. I would say the 17s make the cut. Yeah. The cut. Okay. Um, let's spare another 17. Now we're gonna take all of these up. Take all of these. And uh, be careful not to take those. What is this? 17. Good. Let's double check for anything useful here. 15 and 17. Two fifteens and one seventeen. I think it's okay. We've got eighty grams, I hope. Now let's see. Eighty one Yeah, of course. Ah, that's better. Better. I, I intentionally wanted to put down my plate, you know? I did, I did. That was my intention all along to put down my plate. Yeah. And um, to cause one of the mozzarella pieces to drop. Yeah, absolutely my intention all along. How did it know? So good, so good. Okay, take bread, 60 grams, cut it into 15 grams. Uh-oh, didn't we just have a lot? <laughs> You know what? Sure. Like that. Slightly thinner slice might be useful. Yeah, we got 15. We need 60 grams into 15 quarters, so that's about 4 quarters. We've got a 21, a 20, a 16. That's good. 17, no. 14, that's okay. Of course I know there's a 15. Uh, we don't want... We don't want too many 14s. We want to exceed the count, not uh, be below the count. So let's bring this with us. In here. And cut again. Good, we've got one more 15. We don't want to go below. We want to exceed if at anything. Okay, 15 is okay. <gasps> we got two 15s. That's good. Look. 13. 
31, 17, 16, 15. Uh, 39. So we can discard one of the 16s. Uh, fry for 30 seconds, right? No, no need. No need to drizzle, or do we? Uh oh, we need to drizzle the 60 grams in 5 ml of clarified butter before we cut it into quarters. Yeah, now that's bad. Do we want to drizzle now in 4 ml of clarified butter, not 5? Hmm, yeah, maybe we should. Or another way is to just not drizzle the cuts and um, leave it be for cooking time. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Why do I have a 14 here? Did I just mess up once again? <laughs> Why do I keep making the same mistakes with my bread? Uh, why do I keep making the same mistakes with bread? What's wrong? Now. Like I said, it's safer to exceed than to undercut. Okay, good. 15 grams then. So we'll just put it here. And have it at 60 exactly. <gasps> you see that? <laughs> the day just ended like that. You see that? It's captured. Yeah, it's captured. Look, the day just ended once again without anything. Well, good. Why not? Good. We get a free pass without doing anything. We get a free pass. Um, I'm not gonna drizzle anything on this one because it is a little risky. So I'm not gonna drizzle that. Uh, what has been drizzled though? The onion, was it? Uh, let's see, what did I drizzle? Oh, the bread here. The 6 and 7 grams have been drizzled already. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's hope it's not too heavily penalized. Right, um, that's done. Uh, what do we need? We can have a plate. Red bell pepper. Chili pepper. Yeah, that's one. Onion. And garlic. And we need to drizzle all of these. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Two garlic. Oops. We need to drizzle all of these in uh, 20 ml of olive oil. Which have not been drizzled yet, so... We'll drizzle them later. Uh, clarified butter and olive oil. So let's uh, bring these over, should we? Never mind, we'll just follow all the steps accordingly when we're preparing those dishes. I'll meet you back here when it's been ordered. I think that's all for now. So I'll meet you back here when it's ordered. Third try! Third recording! Why? The first time I tried blending, alright, the blender was still in the pot, and then it just toppled it over. Second try, I put the blender down and I realized that there was still chili pepper and garlic and everything, so I took it up, and guess what? It did the usual 360 degree kick because it had to, and it toppled the pot by sending the pot all the way up onto here, from here up to there. Third recording, third try. The first thing I want to do, take it. That's it. Never use it again. Never. We'll use this as the blender. This is so much more reliable. That one, that one was a huge mistake. Never use that. Never use that. Okay? Never. Seriously. Like, it's disaster all around it. Like, really. Now, what I said in the original video was, what a nice way to start the day by having the dish ordered as the very first dish. 
Man, how wrong I am. How wrong I was. Now, we'll be drizzling 20 ml of olive oil onto these things. How do you know if you need to take out and drizzle them some more? Like, take out the olive oil into the bowl and drizzle them some more. By checking. 7 ml. Okay, we need to bake it, so let's take this one. 7 ml. 3 on the onion. Good enough. Less than 1 each on the garlic and 1 on the chili pepper. Good. That's all. That's all we need. Okay. With that done, put this in here. Now, I'm going to meet you back here in a while because there's another dish that needs the 90 seconds as well. And we've got it. So 90 seconds, of course, we prioritize this one. And then the other one. So, while we are waiting, let's uh, clean this place up a little bit by discarding that. Put this here. Take all the other ingredients. Bring them over. Yeah, recording this three times because of toppling them. Because I toppled them twice. Like, seriously. Once in each of those recordings. Like, you know, it's all blended and everything. And yeah, just needed a last bit of blending and toppled. Toppled and toppled. 30 seconds, so we might as well add the 5ml clarified butter here for the toast. Okay. We should still be in time, so let's quickly take this and just simply pour it down the middle and hope for the best. Yeah. So, um, okay, let's wait first. We have to be here. Okay, switch that off and switch this off. Now, I'll meet you back here after solving the other dish, okay? But let's open this and take it out first. <laughs> like I said, I'll meet you back here and then I'm doing all these things, huh? Sure. You know what? Let's do it. Let's pour all of these in first. Oh my goodness. Everything in and proper. Oh, everything's inside. Now, all we need is for the chili pepper. Oh my goodness, please do not topple again. Because that would be the third time something's toppled. Okay, it's easier to have the chili pepper touching the broth first. And then just nudging everything in place. Of course it... Comes all the way up again, huh? <laughs> right. Okay, with that done, let's put that there. And I think we can nudge everything in place easily now. Okay, good. Everything's in place. So this boils for 60 seconds. And I'll meet you back here when 60 seconds is up. Well, it's still waiting. So let me just talk about this one. <laughs> Now we got two, one, two, and two. That is seven ml. How did we get seven ml when we only poured five? Yeah, beyond me, but that can happen. And that's generally not what you want to happen. But, um, okay. In total, it's still five ml for some reason. In total, it's still 5 ml, so I'm not too sure how the calculations are done. But anyway, we want to adjust this and then just uh, nudge it around, make sure that everything's okay. And uh, that's about it. You see, 1, 2, 2, and 2, that's 7. Anyway, this is 30 seconds, so let's do that.
Okay, and uh, we're gonna see what else we need. I'll acknowledge that, you know, we got an order for the pumpkin soup and I'm so glad we did because we don't have to reset and whatnot. Yeah. Now this is done cooking, we need to blend, don't forget. So, in order to blend, the best way to do it is to use this one. Do not use the blender, it's toppled twice. I'm not going to let it have the third try. No. Instead, we want to blend that and um, let's pick up this one that was dropped inside. Take all of these soup, put them inside first. And be very careful with the ladle. It can topple that one too. Everything can topple so easily. If necessary, yeah. Try transferring these things on the floor. Like literally do so on the floor because it's so easy to topple. Like we're not even rushing or anything but it's so easy to topple everything. So if you're too concerned about that, transfer with the container on the floor now let's check everything is in order make sure that the 20 grams of garlic in there um that's basically two garlic and now blend switch it off make sure that the sauce is 1.7 ml with nothing else in there now this is empty, so we can make use of the pot if we want to, or we can just buy another one. No problem at all. Why? Sour cream. I'm feeling sour about the topples and the wasted recordings. Probably add them in there for bloopers. Now be very careful with the 150 ml. Okay. Put that there. Okay. Take 300 ml. Serve it onto here. All right. With the soup, we need to take the bread, the mozzarella, and some other garnish. Now it's already cool, so I'm a little concerned about the temperature. It's kind of cooled already, the bread I mean. Uh, I think the cheese is okay, the mozzarella cheese. These are the 15 grams and whatnot, right? And it's 80 grams? Good. 12 grams of basil, 2, 3, 4, okay, now let's keep our fingers crossed. Yes, thank you, thank you for the 5 stars, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ooh. but you know what? I'm guessing it's gonna be temperature issues with the toast. Nothing? Beautiful. Beautiful. That means, you know, the tolerance has indeed improved because we had like level 3 on tolerance and we're getting like, what, 3 stars or something? Previously, not this dish, not this one. But now we get the 5 stars. Red pepper and tomato soup with toast. I hope you enjoyed this episode and <laughs> look out for the bloopers. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for now. Have a nice day. Okay, mix it around. And the color is weird. <gasps>
What? Yeah. Let's get it out like that. Safe. And we got garlic and chili pepper still not blended yet. Wait, don't tell me this was not cooked inside, please. Tell me.